This program deals with extreme weight loss and should only be attempted if you've tried everything else, are sick of lugging around excess flab, and have consulted a physician. We asked women, what gets in the way of looking curvaceous and feeling vivacious? Every time you step on the scale, it's 10 pounds. Stomach, thighs, everywhere. <laughs> the belly is mine, <laughs> it's hidden under the jacket. <laughs> my thighs. <laughs> the last 10 pounds on me, right here. Nicole is a single mom who is anxious to start turning some heads again. The last 10 pounds for me would mean a little bit more confidence and better fitting clothes. <laughs> Is that a sprint or a jog? Come on, let's go. Nicole is enlisting in the last 10 pounds boot camp. Oh, wieners. <laughs> this is what you're putting into your body. Kicks. Good. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, let's go. Good. I feel heavy? Yes. Come on. I've had uh, two kids, and I just haven't been able to lose the last little bit of weight that's been holding on. I haven't worn shorts for years. Thank God for capris. <laughs> Nicole, Coco to her friends, is divorced and her time is taxed. With her mom's help, she does get to the gym, but the body she had before she became a mom is still a dream. It's definitely a muffin top, yeah? That's not a pet name. It's just more of a son of a... This happened for my lovely children and the food that came along with them. It's so fast and easy, and uh, they're eating it, so I tend to eat along with them. Being a cake designer, I definitely do quality control. <laughs> There's definitely, you know, the tasting of the buttercream, which is my favorite. Nicole wants to slim down before her best friend's wedding, where there might be some eligible bachelors on the dance floor. It would feel really great to walk in and have people saying you look great. I'm Tommy Europe, a pro football player turned personal trainer. And this is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. Over the next four weeks, we're going to drill Nicole into shape. She's had her last lick of icing for a while. Nicole, Nicole, I'm looking for Nicole. Is there Nicole in here? Oh, that's great. <laughs> well, hello. Nicole. <laughs> Tommy Hi. Europe, I'll be your personal trainer for the next four weeks. Lady Bowman, nutrition specialist. Hi. Hi. Got a lot going on in here, huh? Yes, See, we've there got is. the cake. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You're not eating any of that, are you? Not right now. Okay, because boot camp starts today. Let's head over there. We got some work to do. Bust. Bust. 36 inches. Waist. Waist. 30. Hips. Hips. 44. Weight. Weight. 164 pounds. 164. I feel that that's too much, and like I knew that's where I was at, but it's it's not where I want to be for sure. You come with an open mind and a good attitude, you'll be all right. We're focusing on Nicole's muffin top and thighs as we whip this five foot five kid food junkie into shape. Holy kid snack food cover, we've hit the jackpot. If it's orange fluorescent, don't eat it. Hydrogenated fat, more fat. This has gotta go. Ooh, macaroni and cheese. 400 calories for a third of a box. And who eats just a third of a box? Nicole's finding herself in a very common situation that a lot of people who have kids find themselves in. They tend to consume their kids' food. It's quick, it's easy, it's simple, it's fast. This is definitely going to be a two-binner. Uh-oh. Potato puffs. 170 calories per serving. That's one hour of pushing your kid in a stroller to burn it off. This has all got to go. All this kid's food is causing Nicole to blow up like a house. It's time she starts eating like an adult again. Come on in. It's a message I want to drive home early with this recruit. I've put a little presentation together for you. Now, 
you haven't done a very good job of taking care of yourself. Now granted, you have two young children that you gotta look after. But those hot dogs, snacks, if you keep eating unhealthy, this is what can possibly happen to you. Good Lord. <laughs> Nicole is 29. If she puts on just two pounds a year, she'll be 186 pounds by the time her boys are teenagers. That's gross. It's a reality check. Because not taking care of yourself, bad things happen. Mm hmm So, not an option. No. That's disgusting. To be honest, I can see a little bit of truth in that. Doing some window shopping, Coco? Mm. I think we can do better than that. So today, we're looking for your target outfit. Okay. Something to keep you motivated for boot camp, something that's gonna look great on that wedding. Yeah. I'm looking for something that's gonna show off a little bit more leg than I'm used to. A little bit out of my comfort zone, I think. Got it all now? Yeah, I think so. In you go, try it on. We're gonna see what it looks like. Mm. Going in the monastery? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Got another one? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Excuse me. I know this dress is an eight. Can we get a six, please? Thank you. Six, hey? Six. Wow. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm really excited about the dress. Uh, it's exciting to think I'll be in a size six. I've never been there before, so it's really exciting to think that. What is Coco? Is that a sprint or a jog? Come on, let's go. Oh, gross. Oh, wieners. Nicole joined boot camp anxious to lose the pounds and inches she gained after becoming a mom. This happened for my lovely children. With her best friend's wedding coming up, she hopes to slip into a dress that's revealing, not concealing. I know this dress is an eight. Can we get a six, please? Six, hey? Six. Hello, Nicole. Welcome to the drill test. I know you're good with cupcakes and cakes. Let's see how you are on the physical side. Run it, Coco! Definitely going to be zeroing on the lower part of her body. Um, obviously, there's no there's no such thing as spot reducing, so it's going to be a lot of full body exercises, heavy emphasis on the legs and butt and thighs, um, just to make sure that uh, she can reach her targets. So make sure you clear it by far. Bet you wish you had one of your son's hot dogs now, huh? Oh yeah, I know all about that. It's good, good motivation. So I'm yelling at you with a megaphone. <laughs> Come on, Coco, run it, run it, run it. You can do it. Come on. Just completed the drill test. Oh. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Nicole's attitude's great. She's, uh, she doesn't complain a lot. She doesn't say a whole lot while she's being pushed. So I'm gonna get under her skin a little bit and see if I can uh, you know, get a word or two out of her. You like to make cakes? Yes. I made you one of my own special cakes. Okay. I call it Nadine's Pound Cake. Oh yeah, don't be delicate. Slice off a big piece. Oh, gross. That is nasty. Oh, what's in there? Probably the food I eat. <laughs> I can see some potatoes, some macaroni and cheese. Let's Tater get in. Tots? Let's see what else is in here. It doesn't oh, have to be meat. wieners. Yes, wieners. <laughs> This just represents the kids' foods that you've been eating. Okay. But if we take into consideration all of the food you've been eating, mm -hmm. the fat in that is equal to, that's right, 2,400 grams of fat. 2,400 grams? That's right. Get a feel for it, because this is what you're putting into your body. No it's more gross. macaroni and cheese, wieners, all that easy, quick, convenient food you've been eating. It's tough sometimes, so. It's, it's hard. It's really tough. <laughs> Four weeks for sure, you're committed, you're telling me right now you're gonna do it. Absolutely. It's definitely gonna be a challenge to um, try to maintain that healthy eating because 
I get tired, um, end of the day, I just want to do something fast and easy and, and something I know the kids will eat. Nicole, we have stocked your kitchen full of new, delicious, energizing foods. The most important meal of the day for anyone, never mind being a new mom who's sleep deprived, is breakfast. Mm -hmm. Yogurt, berries, cereal, bran buds. Okay. Yes. Do you think it'll be enough? Yes, till snack. Till snack. <laughs> well, let's talk about the snack. So we've got carrots and hummus. It's important to be not starving yourself and not snacking on cheese puffs. Yeah. That let's sick. talk about dinner. This is something that you'll make yourself. So you'll take the chicken strips, you'll put some breadcrumbs on, put it in the oven, a little bit of plum sauce for flavor. You're not getting deprived here, just a little bit. Do you think this is something that your kids are gonna eat? Definitely. I think if I introduce the food gently and fun, <laughs> hopefully it will go over really well. Here is a one week plan, detailed out portion sizes. You've got breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks. Yeah, that looks great. Looks really good. Down in a squat position, hands over your head, walking slow, knees are coming in front of you. You're staying low. Nicole gets a fitness plan that will trim the muffin top and tone her thighs. It's gonna pump a lot of blood through your legs. It's basically a walking squat. Nicole really wants to show off some legs. She's really thick through the lower body. Quads, uh, butt, hips. And just really want to tighten her down and, and you know, let her feel, make her feel comfortable in anything that she chooses to put on. For Nicole, time is precious. So I'll keep the gym workouts to a minimum. But I'm giving her exercises to do while the boys are blowing off steam after school. You are done for the day. Cool it down. Okay. See you tomorrow. It was a very, very intense workout and I'm still really sore from my last workout. Oh, man. Kicks. Good, breathe, breathe, breathe. Come on, let's go. Good, good. I feel heavy. Tommy. Run it, go, go. Nicole is trying to go from puff to buff in time for her best friend's wedding. Can we get a six, please? Six, hey? Six. You ready for the two-week weigh-in? Yeah. Are you a little anxious? I am. I'm nervous, but uh, excited, too. Predictions? So. It's time to see how far she has to go to fit her target outfit. Bust. 35 inches. Down one inch, Nicole. Good. Good job. Waist. Waist. 29. Down another inch, down one inch off your waist. That's good. That's excellent. Hips, 42. Ooh. You lost two inches. Yes. And that's where I need to lose it from, so that's awesome. Nice work. Feeling pretty good about that? Yeah, I am. All right, let's not waste any time. Up you go. Mm -hmm. Weight. 157 pounds. You're down seven pounds. Yeah. Nice. Woo! <laughs> That's right. Good for you. That's the response we kind of like to hear. I wasn't expecting to be seven pounds uh, less for sure. Five, but seven was, that's real shock. It's good. It's gonna be a matter of really upping the ante on Nicole. I wanna break her way past that 10 pound mark. Time to try on the Target outfit. Hmm, we'll see how it is when I'm in there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Good luck. What you doing? It's just, I'm holding it up against myself and it's just not gonna work. What if I throw Nadine in there to help you out? Would you come out? No, I'm not. not Sorry. Do it? No, not there yet. It's been a tough go the last couple of weeks, for sure. All I think about is food. <laughs> All the time. How you doing, Nicole? Good. Suspecting Nicole had thoughts of cheating, I recruited her mom to do a little espionage for me. What's this? Coco, what's in your hand? I didn't see this on the meal plan. Is there anything else to say about this? I'm gonna kill my mother. Get in a fighting position, right? Left, good, breathe, breathe, breathe. 
I wasn't gonna give you these ones, but Nadine requested these for you. <laughs> Back to punching. Here we go. Uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook. I feel heavy? Yes. Bring it down, bring it down. Come on. Come on. How you feeling down there? Are those Turn. crunches? Kicks. Good. Turn your hips around. Come on, keep your hands up while you're kicking. Let's go. Keep your hands up while you're kicking. Tommy was uh, bugging me a little bit. Come on. Especially when he kept hitting me in the head. <laughs> so it fired me up. Come on, let's go. Huh? Is that all you got? Keep those hands up. Good. Good. Is that all you got? Is that all you got? Huh? Last set of sit-ups. Here we go. Now you're done. How did it feel to get your butt kicked? I'm feeling sorry. Just a little bit. <laughs> you, my friend, are gonna run 10K. How are those legs feeling? <laughs> Tight. Wait. Run it, Coco! Nicole was gung-ho when she entered boot camp, anxious to slip into something hot for her best friend's wedding. Can we get a six, please? Six, hey? After losing seven pounds in the first two weeks, oh. Nicole was caught cheating red-handed. Coco, what's in your hand? And we needed an back. attitude adjustment. Come on, let's go. Good. I've instructed her to meet me downtown for the boot camp's ultimate test. How you doing, Coco? Good. Welcome to your final challenge. Oh boy. You, my friend, are gonna run 10K. Oh. In this bag, your burden. Hot dogs, lard for your fat, sugar for all those cupcakes. You're gonna carry this one last time. Go. Come on, Coco. I've never done 10K before, so I didn't think I'd, it was possible. Uh, and I thought it was something that you really trained for. I really wish I could have got you a bike today. Yeah, I'm sure. Serious. How are those legs feeling? <laughs> Tight. This is what we've worked up for for the last four weeks. It's going to pay off in the end. See the bridge right there? See yeah. it. That's our next spot. That's where we're heading. Coming up the bridge was the hardest part. My legs were so heavy and I just wanted to stop for sure. Hang a left. How are you feeling, Coco? Really tired. Check this out. See that right there? Yeah. That's where we're going. So it's all downhill. Mm. It's easy for you to say. Take a look. You're coming. I'll race you. Kind of had a little challenge with Nicole, and I kind of bet her that I'd cross the finish line first. So this time when I said go, she took off like a shotgun. How's it feel? Ooh, good. Really good. Come here. You've passed the final challenge. Thanks, Tommy. Didn't think I could do it. I knew you could do it. I feel sad that it's all done. And um, I'm very proud of myself for, for going through it and, and doing the 10K. It's time to find out if Nicole has lost the final three pounds and the inches she needs to slip into her target dress. Gonna get you to stand right here. Bust, 34 inches. Down a total of two inches. Nice. Waist, 27. Yeah. You're down three inches. Nice. nice work so far, Coco. Feet together. Hips, 41. Down three more inches. Gonna get to stand on the scale. So you're thinking 10 pounds, maybe? I'm hoping 10 pounds. I mean, come on. <laughs> Weight. 152 pounds. Shut up. You've lost 12 oh, pounds. Really? 12 pounds, yes. 
Congratulations. Nice. Never mind this 10 thing. You did it. Holy How smokes. Do you feel? I feel awesome. You're in shock. <laughs> I'm in shock. Well, now that shock. you're in shock, it's time to shock us. Oh boy. Time to put on the Target outfit. Oh, okay. Let's see what 12 pounds looks like. Coming out. Almost. Wow. Nice. We need some spins. Holy. I was nervous going in to try on the dress, because, you know, even though I lost the 12, still you think, oh, what if it doesn't fit? Congratulations, you did Thank it. You. you look amazing. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. It's been a pleasure. Nicole entered boot camp a bottom heavy 164 pounds and leaves a tight and sassy 152. She's off the kids' food, and for the first time in years, she's ready to show some leg. I don't remember the last time I, I weighed the weight I, I am or look the way I do. When I go to the wedding, I'm going to be thinking, look at this. I'm going to feel awesome. It's going to be great.